Good morning. I, I take this opportunity to speak to our patients, but also to shareholders of Clinibel. Many EPP patients in England and their families have asked us whether NICE is finally going to allow our drug, Sinesse, to be prescribed in England, since an appeal panel was held for, for the second time on the 15th of May. As you may know, our team has been fighting for more than eight years now to get the drug for you in England, but uh, this follows on from similar fights in European countries and, and in Switzerland. In order to achieve this, we needed a positive recommendation and a positive attitude from NICE to advise the National Health Service to make SNS available to you, to, to EPP patients. Over the years, NICE has refused to make the drug available using protracted review processes, which deviated from any other European country and, and also from Scotland. Since NICE had clearly used all of its administrative powers to deny you the drug, in 2018, an internal appeal panel of NICE found that NICE had breached processes across six grounds, in particular by excluding a patient association, by breaching the UK Equality Act of 2010, and by arriving at an unreasonable conclusion on the impact of treatment. Since the damning outcome of the appeal panel instructing NICE to correct its administrative and review processes, NICE had not corrected its actions. And a recent new appeal panel, that's the one held on the 15th of May, found that NICE had breached a new ground by incurring unnecessary delays. In plain English, NICE has run down the clock for a further four years, denying you access to the only effective treatment available. Now, you may ask yourself, well, why? Why did this happen? Well, pharmaceutical companies supply drugs, in this case, Sinesse, and ask for a fair price of treatment to cover part of the development costs. Now, for us, this is a development cost incurred over 12 years, focusing solely on the development of Sinesse for EPP patients and adding into that distribution costs as well. This is the usual practice in the drug industry. Uh, uniquely, and, and we think fairly and transparently, Clinibel prices Sinesse uniformly in all European countries and Switzerland. And we're the only company to not increase the price of the drug year on year and correct it for inflation. When you take into account that at present, the inflation rate in the UK is about 8.7%, it's remarkable that Clinibel is not increasing prices. In reality, NICE really wishes for Clinivell to pay undisclosed confidential rebates and, and, and paybacks. This goes against the policy of both the company and its employees. We don't pay insurers anywhere in the world and we won't make an exception for NICE. Now, most countries in the world have applauded the openness and fairness of Clinivell's approach not to raise prices and to treat payers equally. NICE wishes to enter into confidential agreements, gagging the company to, to speak openly about the demanded paybacks. Unfortunately, you patients suffer from this practice. The attitude of NICE is exemplified by its current decision maker, that's Dr. Peter Jackson, and this is quoted in the, the finding of the 2018 appeal panel. Dr. Jackson stated unequivocally that he did not deem EPP, which is a severe disease, to be a disability because he regards handicap to be only those diseases he can visibly see. Without apology and, and stated over five years, this, this medically qualified decision maker really is a shame to the healthcare system. We regret to inform you that we've not been able to obtain SNS for you just yet, but we will be seeking further judicial ways to call NICE to account to, to test this case by independent English courts, not by panels appointed by NICE themselves. Clinivell will shoulder the legal costs and ensure that NICE is being held accountable since there's not been a willingness to help you at all. I mean, I, I certainly hope you understand our situation and the way in which you can assist us is by giving greater visibility to this injustice. Talk to your MP, talk to those who are representing your constituency in Parliament. I will keep you updated on the, the steps that we're taking every few months and I want to thank you again for your ongoing support.